Dad, are you ready to go to camp? I didn't think are I you, was until I saw the narrator, and now I think I might be. Uh, that's right. That's right. There is a, a Kickstarter for a sequel to Monster Prom, and it's got this mode called Monster Camp, but there's a demo, and you, y'all y'all know how we feel about Monster Prom. We thought so, it was okay. Yep. Welcome back to the Dojo Rage Select. I'm Jeff. I'm Amanda. Uh, that's the narrator. That is the narrator. You know you can unlock the narrator as a romance option in the original game. Could you really? Yes, you could. That's dope. Like somebody told me about it on one of the Sunday streams. Hey, player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even need to do a voice because... It's me, the narrator. Look at his little mouth. Little He's doing a little... <laughs> Come here just because you missed me. You wanted to see a bit of Monster Prom sequel. I missed you, narrator. We're working tirelessly on that shit. No, boy, it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many ideas. Some days it seems we're thinking too big, while other days we believe we could go even bigger. Mm, looks pretty big from here, you know narrator. what I'm saying? <laughs> so... We've settled on a Kickstarter campaign because that will give you, the players, the ability to tell us how big should this thing be. Huge. Go on. Big as a house. <laughs> long as a train. Also <laughs> this way. More powerful than a locomotive. We have more control over our own product by getting our own funds, not only for the development, but also stuff like marketing and console porting. Oh, my God. Please put this game on console. We're on the Switch. And Look there are <laughs> a fuck ton of Kickstarter rewards that will blow your minds. We've implemented some of this into the demo. So to let your imagination fly. For that reason, I brought a little friend to help me present all of this. Everyone will go. Oh, oh Billy the Backer. Hi. Oh, I'm Billy. <laughs> this little fucker is a representation <laughs> of our lovely, awesome fandom. Okay, maybe a bit more exaggerated, absurd for comedic purposes. I don't know. That's how I dress yeah, on the Yeah, I 100% look Green like that right now. Green Zentai suit, just a magic marker <laughs> smile. You know. Whoa, it's the narrative. <laughs> Please step on me. Uh, wow, a bit too real, huh? <laughs> Shut up and take my money! <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down there, Billy. We're super into taking all of your money if that's what you wish. We're nice that way. But what if we play this demo first and check out all the things you can get by giving us all your money? I love Damien. Everybody loves Dave. Of course you love him, Billy. Of course you do. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. So yeah, monster the new Monster Prom Two is going to be basically um, is going to be three different games. One of them is this one, Monster Camp, and that's mm -hmm. like the dating one. And then there's going to be like a uh, like oh my god, is there? We have control of all four of them. I think so. Holy crap! Um, uh, one of them is going to be a road trip with Polly and Scott, mm -hmm. and one of them is going to be like a winter wonderland with. Uh, uh, Vera and I can never remember the fish girl's name. I want to say like Cassandra or Clarissa or something no, like that. I don't that. remember. Uh, all right. Well, um, I guess we'll pass it around for this one. We're, yeah. Let's see. I, I guess I'll start out. We'll go to. Uh, I know it's supposed to be like a camper's hat, but it looks like a sombrero. Oh. <laughs> well, let's check out the dome. The day you join the merciless trials of the camp dome. Your team is faced with the potato sack race. Bah, bah, bah. It seems easy, but this is Camp Dome, and so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees. <laughs> oh, not the bees! <laughs> not the bees! I like the dead people in the background. Oh <laughs> my god, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Your teammates are discouraged both because they are not fond of bees and because the enemy team is mostly comprised of sentient bees. Aren't all bees sentient anyway? Giving them a clear advantage over you. It's not fair. It all looks dire for you, but you use your cunning and remind the enemy team that the bee population of Earth is inexplicably decreasing and bees are heading towards an unavoidable extinction. The fact really messes with the enemy team's heads, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nasty leadership skills grant you plus two charm. Nice. All right. Surprisingly, you survived the whole thing. Oh, boy. That's... That's a lady? I, I think that's you. Uh, what are you doing, Blue? Surviving? Yes. Surviving is not enough. Oh, God. Winning is not enough. Oh, my God. Well, what? We must obliterate this team. We must conquer it. Okay. Whoa, Dahlia, that's admirable. It's like when you decide giving your 100% is not enough, then you give your 120%. No, Scott, we're talking a thousand percent. Or, or, over nine thousand percent. Wow! And that's exactly what we want for our Kickstarter campaign to give over 1,000%. Let me enjoy the sequel without interrupting me with Kickstarter, so please. 
But listen, Billy, if we get way if we get way beyond the main goal of the campaign, we'll unlock tons of delicious stretch goals. Delicious Del- stretch goals. Nom 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 nom. From more love interest to romance to unexpected cool things like figurines. Oh, why what? Oh, figurines. Yeah, I'll totally take the figurines. And one of our most ambitious goals, creating a new adventure other than camp, retreat, and road trip. Yeah, those are the three Three, ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's more Monster Prom. We have some ideas of what those new adventures could be, but we'd love to know our fandoms and pingans on what they would love to get if there was a fourth or maybe more adventure to be included. Uh, all right. So I want to know their holiday adventure, but something that's completely different. Also, I want there to be a way to ma- uh, what uh, to be a way to include any character that might have been left out of the other three adventures. Let's see where we're. How to do that thing? Every fan is asking for. Take off your speedo. Take off your pants. <laughs> uh, let's do this one. Let's do yeah. this. Let's see what this says. Oh, the thing. So bold. <laughs> the thing. Yes, the thing that could be possible. You mean? Yes, I mean a game where you can romance the four playable characters. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, no way. (laughs) We've put a lot of thought into this. People have asked for it for so long. We think it's doable, but it's something that won't happen until after the sequel. And only if there's enough interest. Our biggest fear is it'll be too niche. In the sense that it's something that only exists for fans who played Monster Problems and most craved most lore interactions with playable characters. But who knows? I want it! Well, Billy, that'll be up to the backers. Making this much more content is not an easy feat. We need to make sure there's enough demand for more Monster Problems potential new content around it. So only time will tell. Um, All right. Do you want to do this one? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mer- so you were already at the I went dome. to the, the dome. I don't feel like we're actually romancing anybody today. So there's the lake. Let's go to the lake. All right. You spend the day playing in the lake. Everything is fun until you're mesmerized by a strange song. It's the sirens. They try to lure you with their beautiful chants, but you know better and challenge them to a riff off. They kick your ass, but you all definitely have a lot of fun. More specifically, plus two fun. That's a good amount of fun. Yeah. Later, you're chilling in the lake when someone emerges from the water. Hey, Green, what are you doing? Simple question is made very funny by the fact that he's doggy paddling towards you in a very silly way. <laughs> oh, Scott. What? Scott in a swimsuit? Can this get any better? <gasps> hey, people, hear me out. Awkward erection noise. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Look at that face, Thank God that. Don't move the, the text box. Leave the text that text box, box right where it needs where to be. Where the fuck it is. We need to head to shore. I got into a small argument with the lake creatures underwater, and I got a bit too invested in said argument. It turns out beheading one of their people is considered, quote, not cool, oh, unquote. Man. So you all swam to the shore. Fuck, I hate narrating when I'm on screen. You never get used to it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. What's wrong, Billy? You got exhausted after swimming just a bit. You really need to get in shape, kiddo. Intense dating sim sessions don't count as a workout. <laughs> he means jerking it. <laughs> what? No, it has nothing to do with swimming, dude. I'm exhausted after that much, what? Too much fan service. Oh, just like Avengers Endgame. Uh, do you <laughs> think putting our characters in swimming gear is fan service? No, nah, that's just a contextual necessity. But if you want some fan service... Uh. You're about to sell <laughs> to sell on me another Kickstarter reward, aren't you? Shut up, Billy! I'm not telling you about just any Kickstarter reward. I'm telling you about the Kickstarter reward. It's the highest one, co-creating a minor NPC. Woo! It can be your own OC, a monster soda of yourself, whatever you want. Within logical reasons, this will be a process done by working with the very game creators. Let's start now. If you got to create a character, what motto would you get inspiration from? Please step on me. <laughs> I love Damien. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, we're going to please step on me. Can I create whatever I want? Well, actually, as I just told you. Okay, so I want an orc gal. But what if she's like super buff? Uh huh. And she's some magical girl, a magical <laughs> orc girl. Uh huh. Really super edgy with a dark past. I have 30 pages on her dark past. It's the darkest of past. Oh. And she's she's uh-huh. rad tattoos all over her body, right. rainbow hair for no good reason. Yep. Fuck consistency. Okay. And and. Uh, Billy. She has shades off her hands. That's good. Oh. And a PhD <laughs> on stepping on me. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, hold on there, Billy. Hold on there. <laughs> 
Fuck, Billy, you need to learn <laughs> that more is not always better. <laughs> but don't worry, that's the beauty of the whole process. Backers and game developers <laughs> won't care to create together to co-create a character. Yep. Like, right until the half of it character was going in an interesting direction, actually. So, chainsaws for hands, not a good thing. How, how are you going to get a hand job from a chainsaw, I'm Billy? sorry, did he want a hand job or did he want to get stepped on? He wanted to get stepped on. Uh -huh. No, it's usually not. Oh. Um, it's okay. Come on, let's yeah, go. Billy definitely has a boner right now. <laughs> Billy always has a that boner. That is Billy's boner face. Oh, it's Red's tire turn. Bo -bo -bo boner face. <laughs> boner face. <laughs> that has to be a thing, right? <laughs> That's on the internet. No, I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got the manor, we've got Scout HQ, and we've got the woods. And we got whatever the in between that center nope. one. That's not a thing. It's not a thing. Oh. We only have these five, these five total. So <laughs> let's go to <laughs> the manor. Yeah. What spooky goes? Do you venture into the haunted manor? Everything is going quite fine, and you're reassured on how brave you are. I'm pretty brave. When suddenly a ghost, or is it somebody wearing a blanket with two holes? It's hard to tell the difference. Appears and whispers in your ear. Remember, one day you will be long gone, and no one will remember you. All the struggle you endure to become a better version of yourself, both personally and professionally, will eventually be nothing. Oh, Jesus, game. Ow. I didn't need this right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. Brady ghost behind her in the, <laughs> in the background. Please don't look at me. The ghost leaves while you take all that in, getting plus two boldness in the process. Yeah. All right. Can I say Monster Problems like the greatest game that's ever been invented in all time? Yeah, I mean, have you seen the narrator's <laughs> abdomen? That's great. Suddenly you realize you're not the only one in the manor. Shh. Scott, I think I heard something. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Red, you gave us a good jump scare there. We're looking for spooky things. Oh my god, what is that expression? Look at our teeth. <laughs> Do you want to step on them? Because I got somebody I can introduce you to. <laughs> like monsters! Scott, we're monsters. Ah, ah it's true! <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not that scared of myself. Actually, come to think of it, what is spooky for us monsters? Humans? <gasps> Mega monsters? The unbearable lightness of being? Suggests that maybe classic monsters are afraid of modern monsters. Cool. That's not cool. Modern monsters are nice people too. Actually, some of them were here with us before we got lost. Moss? Whoa. Oh my god, is that the moth man? He's uh, a guy. He's the moth man. Oh. I think this one's gonna be gotta be you. Me? Yeah. Uh, do something. Hmm. I'm here, guys. Chill. <laughs> this is a moth man. Oh. See, Moss here is a moth man. I'm a moth person, Scott. All right, sorry. It's okay. I can't escape that term, if only because life or the devs gave me the name Moss Man. <laughs> what? I don't know. In any case, I have to leave. I have my daily hour of staring directly at a fire scheduled soon. Bye. Ha, <laughs> classic Moss. Where are the other two? Don't oh mind. my oh, god! god. SCP 173 with his pants pulled down! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in oh this Oh my history. god, can oh, we. Oh, can we. Can oh my god, <laughs> I've, I've never been happier. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you can saying? Can we romance the SCP? I hope so. Oh, there you are. Bun cheeks. Oh my god, I don't even know. Who does which voice? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll do her. Yeah. I'll, Okay, I did it. Is that Momo? <laughs> oh, I, is it? I think it is. I That's think it Momo. is. Right? Holy shit, that is Momo. I think How is. do you do Mr. Peanut's voice? Um, I don't know. Maybe give him like a lisp or it's a, don't look at me. You're not, <laughs> you're not don't look at me when people look at me. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Maybe put your butt away if you don't want people looking <laughs> at it. These are Momo and Samuel mm -hmm. Charles, Charles Peterson, Peterson, the 173rd. Oh this is amazeballs. Oh, my <laughs> well, God. Well, I just kick-started. <laughs> my family's, like, weirdly fond of the name Samuel Charles. You should never stop naming you. have to have one the same thing. <laughs> okay. Press pause here. We're getting all these creepy pasta characters? Really? Not exactly. Oh. There will be new characters for sure. We don't know if any of these ones will be there. Oh, you motherfuckers. You How much? Don't you promise me SCP and then not give me SCP. Don't you give me an SCP with his butt hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> what we wanted to portray is, wait for it, 
Dot, dot, dot. Another one of our awesome rewards. Son of a bitch. We're creating a Discord server for the Monster Prom sequel, and the server will have a handful of very exclusive channels dedicated to backers proposing and discussing content. The content could end up in polls or directly in the game. All kinds of content will be divided into three levels, events, outfits, items, endings, and even characters. So, hang on, just a question. Yes. Is this just us doing a commercial for them? It kind of is. I didn't know that that was what this was going to be, <laughs> but I'm not disappointed uh, <laughs> in the least. Also, we really just like went all in on this commercial. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much, pretty much. Um, so we did an experiment by doing something similar on Twitter. We asked people what monsters they would like to see at Monster Prom, and we created the top picks for this demo to replicate what can happen with this reward. You put that SCP you in there. I like Momo and Mothman. Yeah, but of course, as I always say, it's not that simple. The game creators still play a role in deciding what's good enough to go in or not. Like, Moss Man is probably the strongest contender of the three. Yeah, he seemed the most put together. But SCP, the 173rd, or Momo, they're another story. Why is he all nervous? Momo is mad controversial. We're not sure if by making her into a careful character, we would be enabling her or encouraging well, the terrible Momo behavior. Well, Momo was supposed to be a thing about, people like, her. people. That was, like, the whole rumor of, like. It was fake like, as fuck. It was it fake, was fake as, fuck. as fuck. But uh, would they not be capitalizing on the idea of. A character that told children to murder themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 mm, that's the what he's uh, dealing with. Uh, that's what the sexiest shit, <laughs> fucking nippleless narrator is dealing with. Look, we put the Pied Piper in shit. All right, he was a fucking child murderer that's, too. You so. know, you make a good point. I'm down for the Momo. Like seriously, content warning. Don't look her up if you don't like really creepy stuff. I love really creepy stuff. And Samuel, he's also maybe beyond the creepiness we could take on. Actually, that's true because SCP is is like open source, like it's it's not supposed to be used for commercial works, right? right? So, but I like them. Sure. Here's the thing. That's the reason that we made a Discord server. We're open to conversations to listen to fans to let them change our minds. So choose one of these controversial motherfuckers and tell me how they could avoid being a PR nightmare. SCP the third is not that creepy. He's cute, and there's a lot ton of potential with all the other SCPs in his family. Uh, yeah. <coughs> it's true that Momo is tied to very controversial things, but that's because of the trolls, not her. What if we make it so the controversy was never her fault, but just the trolls? I don't know. I mean, we're going to vote. Yeah, we I, want SCP I, I'm, I'm a, Yeah. I okay. wonder if they are checking that. Do you oh, know what possible. I mean? To see what yeah, people are voting. Like the feedback. Yeah, if you go into the whole SCP lineage, you will stumble upon a gold mine of creative resources. Right, but like, don't like rip them all off. <laughs> like the Samuel Charles Peterson, who's a toaster with devastating psychological properties and also very vocal political opinions. He vents about every Thanksgiving dinner. Or, or the one uh, who's just a room full of chairs. Get it? A room full of chairs. It's the pinnacle of comedy. Oh, God, it's the internet made <laughs> real. <Yeah. laughs> You do have a point there. Chairs are indeed very funny. <laughs> Just think about it. Okay, we will, Billy. We will. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if this is Me? too much of. Yeah, this is. Too, if this isn't too much of a commercial, right? I mean. Well, I don't care. I, it's worth it. I, I don't know. Amazing. I lo I love this franchise. Like, I'm wholeheartedly endorsing this, and I'm I'm biased as fuck. So, you guys can just maybe do a thing. Look at he has two little ghosts around him. Yeah, he always had those. They're I like know, but they're so cute. <laughs> that day you get lost in the woods. You decide to study the tree's bark and moss patterns to solve the situation. By reading one tree's bark, you realize which direction north is. By reading another tree's bark, you learn the exact age of the tree, 73 years old. By reading yet another tree's bark, you learn the tree likes Irish poetry and believes Buffy and Spike were the ultimate ship on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Agreed. <laughs> Whoa, so much useless knowledge. You came plus two smarts. Yeah! All right. While wandering in the woods, you find Dahlia and Scott having a very serious discussion. Look, Scott, I found these mushrooms. Do you think they're edible? <laughs> I don't know. I found this tree. Do you think wood will be edible? Uh, Scott asking the real questions no one else dares to ask. But Scott isn't listening anymore. He's chewing a piece <laughs> of tree. <laughs> 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 hey! It's Copy Tron or whatever his name is. Hello, friend Dahlia and friend Scott. Uh, hey there, killing machine buddy. Why are you wearing a swimsuit in the woods? I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy. My research on summer camp revealed that swimming is a very common activity here. Let's swim. But you do realize there's no water nearby to swim in, right? Oh, no. You caught me. The truth is I do not know how to summer camp. 
I do not deserve to be Aww. here. Wait, so Calculester is one of the love interests? I mean, I assume Scott and Dahlia were, but are they? Ah, the mystery. Let me take this opportunity to tell you more about the wonders of the sequel's Kickstarter campaign. So once you reach a certain reward tier, you get access to the voting polls. Oh. Every now and then we release a very important poll to decide on content for the game. This will be one of the first and most important ones. We want our backers to help us decide who some of the love interests for Monster Camp should be. It was up to you. Which criteria would you follow to choose one? One of the most popular characters. They're my favorite, and I cannot get enough of them. A minor, more obscure NPC. It's time for them to shine, and I'd love to know more about them. I like minor NPCs. Me too. Hmm, I would love to see Damien everywhere, but it's also true that I've enjoyed the plot lines that reveal lots of love about minor NPCs. I wouldn't mind more of that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm here to save the world. <laughs> or at least summer camp. <laughs> oh, the coven leader. My name. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> you got the same name as your dog. <laughs> my name is Jai. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like a fucking whatever. Do you really need me to be here? I'm sure I could be doing way more important stuff than just smooching during the summer. Evil doesn't take vacations. Joy could be a good choice, bringing that level-headed contrast that plays so nicely with wackier characters such as Damien, Dahlia, or Scott. And since neither Vera nor Liam will be in Monster Camp, she would be a nice addition. Also, minor NPCs present tons of unexplored territory in terms of themes, gags, chemistries, and other characters. So a minor NPC turned love interest could bring something new to the table instead of just Damien burning stuff or Polly being hella drunk. Also, she's dummy thick. Is that a thing people say? Yeah. Yoko, you dummy thick. <laughs> Hell yeah. I will spank you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no more woods events for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> dummy thick. <laughs> that girl was dummy thick, yo. Damn. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so this is like the it's like the lunch table. Wait, I can't. Oh, okay, there we go. go. Where do you want to sit? Wait, I... Um, uh, yeah, the controls are a little wonka -doo. Did I accidentally unplug my controller because did I, I do it? can't make her... Well, oh, that's weird. It's like... Up, up, up? No, it's like I have to hit backwards first in order to go somewhere. Oh, look, it's Damien! Damien! We didn't talk to him. Oh, shit. Do I do Damien or do you do Damien? You uh, I, I, Damien's just... I'll do it, Damien. Uh, I usually do yelly voice for Damien. <laughs> My voice is already going to be wrecked, so might as well wreck, it, wreck it in full. Wrecked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop there. What? But I, I want to chill around the campfire, narrator. Billy, we built this demo in like a month. We're industrious, but we're not wizards. But listen, the campfire stage will be pretty interesting, introducing three new mechanics. One, telling stories around the campfire. Ooh, I like that. Two, spreading rumors about other players. I don't like that, you bullies. <laughs> Three, smooching with other players. <laughs> and that's not all. Monster <laughs> Camp won't have a shop, but instead there will be a bar. What is going on? With it's a wizard cat. Oh, I mean. cat wizard. Players will battle to drink wacky mixed drinks that will have all kinds of consequences. I love consequences. Which one do you? Which one do you want? I think I would do top right. Okay. Or bottom left. Okay. I think I'm going to go with bottom right. I like the sugar and the tentacles yeah. and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. No, if I'm doing tentacles, I'm not doing sugar. No? Okay. No. And that's the, uh, that's only Monster Camp. The sequel is three games in one. You also have Monster Retreat, a narrative adventure where you'll need to prepare not for prom, but the ultimate snowball fight. Yeah. You'll choose side between Team Vera and Team Miranda. 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 I knew it was an M name, but I was like, there's no way it's Mara. Like what the... is her army of fishmen? I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you will have to face events in order to help one of the sides. One, Ooh. help one of the sides. Two, recruit allies for the battle. Oh, my God. Whatever that Yeti is at the bottom is the one I want <laughs> and or the cat. I think that Yeti is unlockable, actually, in the main game That's if you do all the right things. He is amazing, and I love Three, him. Three, learn techniques like um, buffalo reads newspaper or... Seal selfie? <laughs> walrus selfie? Or lizard... Podium? P podium. <laughs> running for president. Lizard podium. <laughs> 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 All leading up to a thrilling snowball match will uh, fight, which will introduce a kick-ass strategy minigame finale. Nice. And finally, there's Monster Road Trip, where you will join uh, Polly and Scott on an absurd journey on the road. 
Oh, uh, those two. These two should not be operating heavy <laughs> machinery together. I was just thinking, like, oh boy, do I not want to hang out with them? This one will probably involve survival mechanics, <laughs> but we can assure you there'll be all kinds of unexpected stops. Road trip, oh, and shit. even more unexpected hitchhikers. Yeah, the space prince. <laughs> He's in a cowboy space he prince now. Such a nerd. Uh, it sounds fun. It will be! So come and join our Kickstarter campaign. We have all kinds of awesome rewards. Beta access to the Monster Problem, the first game's mod tool. Dope. Physical Polaroids from exclusive to brand new. A body pillow. That uh, makes me uncomfortable. Uh, actually, it's a body pillow cover because I read the whole Kickstarter page. Yeah. But still, you want to hug on Polly all night. Uh, access to exclusive Discord if channels. If you're giving me one of those body pillows, it better not be Polly. To propose and discuss content for the sequel. Items, endings, NPCs. What, who, what, who do you want it to be? I don't know. Scott? Maybe, uh, no. Damien? I really, no. I really like uh, Calculester. Calculester? Yeah. Yep. Custom content for you. Avatars, monster sonas, mod visual packs, and even physical Polaroids. <laughs> the one that just says heart eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and even the opportunity to co-create content for the sequel with the game devs. And if we get enough money, we're preparing amazing stretch goals. Figurines. I want the figurines. More love interests for Monster Camp. I want the figurines. Kick-ass credit sequences. And new adventures for the game. By the way, it should be noted, this game, within one hour of being up, like, doubled over its goal. Nice. Like, it was like 30,000. It's Dope. like at 76 or something like that. Yeah, so. yeah. Whoa, narrator. You are so good at shamelessly selling Monster Prom, oh, as are we. Zoe. Yeah, yep. isn't she the cutest to Buddhist? Yep. You betcha, Billy. No, but really, even if you can't or don't want to support the Chaos Campaign, we love you. We have one of the most greatest, loyal, wonderful fandoms ever. I want to call us loyal. We're forever grateful, and we hope you're excited about the sequel. Bye! Bye. So, uh... Slow zoom. Oh, oh. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that. <laughs> and that's a dump to desktop. I'm going to leave all this in, because I'm on the couch. I can't really do anything. What, are we going to get up? Yeah, I'm not getting up. Please enjoy this blue... <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit the like <laughs> and subscribe button. Patreon.com forward slash race. They didn't even open the Kickstarter page. They didn't even open yeah, didn't, a yeah. link to the Kickstarter page. You could have done a lot more than just bail us out. Check down in the comments for the Kickstarter page. This was a little bit more of a commercial than I thought in the beginning. But you know what? I freaking love Monster right, Prom. But, you know, uh, SCP was in it. And That's so, true. therefore, the whole thing was worth it for That's me. That's absolutely true. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow with another brand new video. Bye. Bye.